Hey guys out there on YouTube, this is Decimal in our video again, and I'm doing online commentary on my online battle in Rome Total War. I'm playing the Seleucids against Rome, and the player was named Player128 and he left early. Uh, I, won't be, I won't be able to play uh, the stati statistics, but um, I'll be able to show you my battle. Uh, let's see what I have. Okay, this is what I have. I have four Phalanx Pikemen, one Silver Shield Pikemen. Uh, two silver, uh, silver uh, shield legionnaires, uh, three cataphracts, two Greek, uh, Greek cavalry, and five archers. Uh, this was I wasn't too sure what he had, but I was pretty certain that he had um, urban cohorts and Praetorian cavalry because almost every uh, Roman uh, every Roman player has these overpowered units, and I can't stand it. But uh, the outcome of this battle was pretty good, so let's see what happens. So at the beginning of this battle, I rushed my archers forward to try to catch him off guard as he was moving his men up forward too. Uh, my archers made it up there first and started making their uh, first uh, attacks. And actually, uh, the Roman uh, uh, archers, they weren't able to get any shots off until like they were going up down to maybe like 60 to uh, almost like 60 to 100 men. While we were skirmishing, I was just checking out his lines and seeing what kind of weaknesses they had. Obviously, Praetorians cannot stand up against uh, upgraded ca uh, cataphracts. So I decided to take all my cataphracts to my left and destroy his pra uh, uh, Praetorians over there. Then I take my legionaries to my right and hold his um, uh, Praetorian cavalry as long as they could. While they were doing that, I would take my Greek cavalry from the sides and then attack them from behind. Using my archers to slow them down a bit. Uh, well, we'll just see as the battle progresses. In order for my plan to work, I had to rush up my Phalanx Pikemen and my Silver Shield Pikemen upward and hold their urban cohorts in place. While they were doing that, I would take my uh, cataphracts from my left and destroy their uh, cavalry wing over there. Then I'd take my legionnaire on my right and hold their Praetorian cavalry right there. And while they were doing that, I would take my uh, Greek cavalry from, from behind, you know, uh, swing them around and attack the Praetorians from behind. My archers would only serve one purpose, and that was to slow the cavalry down. Uh, I didn't expect them to stay there long because archers, you know, obviously can't withstand uh, a cavalry assault. But they were there just for a beat grinder since their skirmishing purpose was done. Okay, now this, as you see, this plan was working, you know, quite perfectly. Um, my cataphracts were engaging the Praetorians on my left. Uh, my legionnaires was able to snag uh, the Praetorians charging at my uh, archers. My archers served as a meat grinder, the uh, a meat shield. But here's a problem here. Uh, I sent in my Greek cavalry after the routing uh, Praetorian cavalry. Uh, I did not think the Praetorian cavalry actually run from some archers, but prizes happen. So, I took in my Greek cavalry, swung them back around, and uh, engaged the uh, pursuing uh, Praetorian cavalry. But I already knew the Praetorian cavalry would win eventually. So, I ran them away. I ran them into some more archers, which slowed them down some more. I had my silver shield legionnaires rush in from behind and engage them. I was able to take out my Greek cavalry, swing them right back around, and charge them while their backs were turned. As you see, I split up my uh, Greek cavalry, leading uh, the Praetorians away. I was trying to tire them out while my, uh, you know, my infantry was moving up from behind. <clears throat> now, while all this was going on, I, moved, I was moving my cataphracts behind the uh, urban cohort line, and then I would, you know, do some uh, hit and run techniques. I was just hit and run. That's all I was doing. 
by that time, I knew this game was mine. But, just enjoy the rest of the battle.